Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com. Back in the West Parlor at Gray Manor. This is actually my third video, third video that I'm recording. I don't know why that's so hard for me to like put my finger straight out like that. Uh, but this is my third video I've recorded this morning um, in the same hat and same shirt. Uh, I'm not going to try to trick anybody to go change clothes or anything like that, but uh, these will be posted through the next probably week. Um, but I wanted to show you a new acquisition I got, and uh, I do believe I will be carrying these in the future. Uh, currently, I don't have any pipe lighters on the website, and that is something I definitely want to carry. Now, you know, you can always use, I don't have one out here now, but you can always use a Bic lighter, or you can use matches, just plain old kitchen matches to light your pipe. That doesn't always work out so well if you're outside. Um, so it's nice to have a, a, a good lighter. Um, Bix work in a pinch. I don't have any problem using Bix or Clippers, um, which is a refillable butane lighter. Uh, I get those at Walmart, you know what I mean? Uh, so you can go the cheap route, but sometimes it's nice to just have a matching piece of equipment to go with your, um, to go with your pipe. Um, some pipe lighters that I've carried in the past are this Mr. Brog old boy style pipe lighter. Um, it's it's a decent lighter for its price point, which was like fifteen dollars. Um, is it an old boy? No, it is not an old boy. <laughs> but it's done a good job for me. Um, it's starting to show a bit of wear now after about a half of a year of use, and I use it pretty regularly. Um, but like I said, $15, that's still a fairly cheap lighter. Um, the insides are plastic parts. It's not, it's not super well made for 15 bucks. I mean, you can kind of expect that, but it's a decent refillable lighter and this flame can be adjusted right now. I've got it fairly low, um, because I tend to use it for initial lights. Um, when it, I kind of don't like side firing it like that way down into the bowl. Um, because you tend to scrape the sides of the bowl. I do anyway with this kind of lighter that kind of fires at a 45 degree angle. Um, but I'm going to step up my game as far as lighters goes and I made a purchase uh, and I, I, based on this purchase I do believe I'm going to be carrying these in the future so look, look for that. This is a Karibi Mikazuki lighter. Uh, this is the packaging comes in a, in a cool artsy uh, slip sleeve or slip cover um, and it slides off like that and you have the cool Karibi uh, logo and brand name there. Now this is a magnetic box and a uh, nice presentation on these. I mean these would be a really good gift item for a pipe smoker, you just don't want to get them another pipe. This would be a good one. Um, so anyway, really cool looking box. Comes with, you know, kind of the anatomy of your pipe lighter. And um, just a little, a little blurb, just a little blurb card about the company. Now Karibi is Japanese made. I believe all of yeah all of their lighters are made in Japan. I've heard very good things about them. Um, I believe this was about a hundred dollar lighter, something like that. Now this is the Mikazuki, um, you know, flat black I believe or matte black. So I've already taken it out. I've already you know they don't come with butane, so I've already filled it up with butane. And I've already oiled it up with my hands, I'm sure, and got fingerprints on the metal. But um, it's a heftier lighter than the Mr. Brog. Probably all metal parts, I would wager to say. And just immediately it feels like a, uh, I don't want to say a better lighter, but it feels like a, a more quality lighter. Um, so it has a very similar action. You flip this up, it's kind of an old boy style, 
But when you flip this one up, it's uh, uh, it's spring loaded a lot better than that one. So, and then it's also easier to side fire. I've got this one down fairly low as well, but it's it's adjustable um, from the bottom very similarly. I have a little screwdriver tool like this, and if my eyes don't fail me, there you go. A little bit better, a little bit better flame there, but. Uh, there, let me dim the lighting a little bit. Um, you know, it's new. It hasn't had time to give me any kind of trouble, really. But um, just based on the construction alone and first impressions, I think I'm going to be really happy with this lighter. And uh, you'll see me using it in videos in the future. And hopefully, I'm hoping to carry these in the future. These as well as the, um, I think it's the Kabuto series, and possibly one more. Uh, they do make quite a few uh, lighters, but they're all very similar. They're all, they're all in this kind of old boy style um, vein. So, you know, they've got a flint loader right here that unscrews. You put the flint in. Um, and they sell their own flints, which are seem to be really high quality flints. I got some flints as well and uh, they're a lot better than the Ronson flints that or the Zippo flints that I've bought in the past. Um, Alright, well that's my first impressions on this Karibi Mikazuki um, lighter. We'll leave it at that. Glad y'all got to see me and we'll chat with you later.